Hello everybody, CVH here, and in today's video I have even more games with Altar of Despair Assassin. This time, a slightly different version from the deck I did in the last video uh, for the archetype. And you guys seem to like that video quite a bit, so I decided to bring back a little bit of Altar highlights once again to the channel. And this version is way more reminiscent of the uh, the list by Scissor that I, I featured a little bit in the intro to that video. Uh, again, a couple cards different, but I took more of his ideas there, and they did happen to pay off during the grind. So this is the list. I'm uh, not going to talk about it too much because I talked a bit about Altar in general in the last video, Altar of Despair shenanigans, but this time I'm playing the Fire Blooms and the Balmoris Spymasters and the Goblin Skulks, the Varanus Couriers and everything. Uh, and again, the deck is uh, really slow, really intricate, but very, very fun to play, very rewarding once you get a handle on it. So hopefully you all enjoy some more Altar of Despair highlights, and if you do, feel free to leave a like, stay subscribed for more Legends content, follow my stream in the description, and I'll see you next time. That wasn't casual, yeah, I'm sorry. It was. Wait! Did you hear that? That's fast. Seems a little too fast. What happens if someone were to ring Skulk? Wait! Did you hear that? I'll take them with me! Another one, huh? I feel ya. It's too bad we have the counter. The Night Mother will guide us. We stand united. I'll take them with me! I don't know, if you played Journey. Most of this list is scissors. And I want to emphasize that it's undefeated so far. I think it lost to one. But I mean, why do you need Baroness? It's good. But it's good over, though. We might lose this one. I use my ring charges pretty aggressively. My sword hand itches. Chimera, guide us. Salsi so doesn't have another one. I'll take them with me. I'll take them with me. Come at me. Play this to draw, I guess. My sword hand I fly like the wind and the shadows protect me. Draw and gain three life. Yeah, Skulk by itself is probably the best hard draw. He's not playing another fervor, right? The telegraph. I'll take them with me. The Dark Brotherhood is a pox, and I shall cure it. Uh, uh, 
Could have been worse. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Soldiers, report. He's not gonna like the second ice storm. Oh, dude, I feel bad. <laughs> this is almost worth feeling bad. Yeah. What's good against token decks? Ice storm's good against token decks. It's only cordial. Oh, jeez, he stops. I can draw. Uh, I can't be too mad. I had two ice storms. There's a play. There's okay. a play. I don't even need it. I honestly don't need this one. I could play it for fun. If he top decks reinforcements, it'd be pretty awful, though. You have to, it's really bad value. <laughs> it could be better in the future. It's unlikely, but like 4 damage, I can take that. I could've just double fire able to 2, but I want the tome. Gotta start drawing some other stuff. There's the right play, and then there's the play that oppresses your opponent's fighting spirit. It sends a message. That message is, I don't know how to use my ice storms. Bet he won't be expecting the fourth ice storm. My sword hand itches. I guess I can just plop this thing out. I fly like the These decks rarely play Earthbone Spinner. my breath. By the egg, a fine battle. It has been an engaging hunt. We really didn't get to do anything too crazy this game. But it just shows the power of double ice storm. I just casually assume the game is over. <laughs> hey, see, this is what I'm talking about. If we didn't have a great board, this would be like a kind of decent ice storm. It might still be. I don't have lethal, right? Nah, I don't think so. We are not amused. You waste my breath. We'll put a stop to their tricks. embassy cards. Who needs altar? He played all of his ice storms. <laughs> And he's still putting stuff on the board, man. And I don't have lethal. I have one damage. One of these should attack him for lethal next turn. 
cost three, right? Yeah, cost three. We stand united. It's not like you can really play around the third ice storm anyway. It's like it's one card. Gotta hope they don't have it. They've already played two, and you're down to your last resources anyway. The only reason he had stuff to play this turn is because I broke a lot of runes and gave him a lot of cards. Get him with the Durzog. Oh. It's a pretty clutch couple of turns in the middle of that game. I mean, the way I would play Control Mage is the way I was playing Control Mage in my recent video. And if you want to go the Support Mage deck, I think Black Falls list is the best. Maybe like a card or two different, but yeah, basically everything I can tell you is just like play one of those decks, honestly. Those are the two I like. Interested in Journey Skull with some other interactions, and those are good things to be interested in. My and Journey is just good. I was playing Journey in the last Control Mage. I've also seen it in Support Mage. You can do that. You can also get it off of the uh, College of Winter Hold at 7 if you go that far. Blackfall support mage doesn't have altar? Well yeah, because it's not an altar deck, it's just a support control mage. The altar versions of support mage have to play three marked men, and they usually play a uh, conjuration tutor. It's a pretty different deck. said foreign golems played on me in a single game with brilliant experiment shenanigans. Yeah, that's one way to do it. You can also use Dark Rebirth, you can use Wisp Mother. A few different ways for that. The Night Mother will guide us. The Night Mother will guide us. I had a game where I stole the opponent's Galen, shuffled Mechanar, Dark Rebirth, three more Mechanar, then Mechanar is Mechanar. Jesus. Yeah, the Thief Control Mage deck is right up there with this deck for like crazy board states. It's all about every little bit of value in this matchup. I think he's on Justin Larson's deck, so like the value card that he is playing is uh, Baroness. That could be a problem. Besides that, I think we have a 
pretty strong chance. Got Balmora's double wisp mother. to play Skulk. I'm gonna play this and I'm not gonna use it yet. That might look wrong, but I have a plan. Might be a bad plan. Either way, welcome to the Polka Pack. Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting the channel. That feels bad. Open a search for Zero Cost Gamer. Uh, play Wisp Mother in the double Balmora, search for two zero cost schemers, uh, sack one of the Balmoras for two's, uh, two one cost assassins. I guess they'll do some of that, I guess. Only half the time I get Leaf Lurker. Shall we put in a dishonest day's work? I fly like the wind and the shadows protect me. I lurk in the shadows. I lurk in the shadows. Wait. Embrace my rage. Not often do you see the quad altar. <laughs> Very true. He's got the. Oh, he's gonna ice storm? The forest is my cloak. Oh, that makes sense too. Just hoping for it or. Oh, I guess uh, I think Justin wasn't playing a Brynjolf. It's for alter consistency. And here the Brynjolf wasn't necessarily the greatest. The forest is my cloak. I'm okay with that. So many choices in alter decks. Yeah, it's a really hard deck to uh, determine whether or not you're really playing everything correctly. Like, we've been having a really good win rate, but I doubt more than like one or two of those games was actually played fully optimally. I fly like, I fly the, wind like the, wind the wind, the shadows, the protect, shadows me. protect me. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, it's actually bad anyway. God, this is so bad. Why didn't I just trade first? We know. God damn it. We know. It's okay, one of them was free. Do I want to draw first? No. Do you want to try to draw the lavas? I guess I don't want this, right? I lurk in the shadows. Oh, I lurk in the shadows. Wait. Like despite that turn being like really absurdly good for us, I still played it wrong. And that was like a dumb mistake too. That wasn't even like a big gameplay decision mistake. That was just like oops. And I think I do have to do this because if I don't, you can like ice storm or something and I won't get a free creature out of it. Sometimes you're like thinking about the big picture stuff and you're like, oops, I don't get a dude. <laughs> Too many things are coming onto the board this turn. It happens. I think this matchup is probably a Lana for journey type of situation. 
First and foremost, though, he does have to clear my Conjuration Tutor. The Night Mother will guide us. There's always a way, and I can always find it. Let's burn a firebolt here. Two altars, eight things on board, and well, nine cards in my hand. Soon to be ten. And a journey in my hand. So I feel like we're favored. Let's go then. My time is precious. Nah, a lot of doesn't show the opponent what you searched for. Nice try. Care to go again? The night mother will guide us. Twenty six creatures down there. We're very close to lethal. We know. Oh, wait, I overdraw. Oh, dude, that's uncool. <laughs> we were just about to go nuts. Now that turn was gonna be sweet. And all subsequent turns were just gonna get even sweeter. <laughs> 